Olympic meeting yesterday, we're being told six of the UK's largest unions holding those talks about launching walkouts at the same time, causing more concern at uh, an already strained health service. And uh, those representatives meeting the health secretary, Steve Barclay, earlier uh, for further talks. Uh, Steve Barclay saying after that, my door remains open and we will continue to meet. Well, as we were just saying, the Royal College of Nursing looking towards a 17.6% pay rise uh, to have a, a, an increase over inflation, while other unions asking for salary hikes that exceed that 10.1% rate. Let's uh, speak now to political commentator and former head of health analysis at the ONS, Jamie Jenkins. Jamie, thanks very much uh, for joining us. Um, clearly, there's a bit of a dance going around between Steve Barclay and these uh, health unions, but... If it does come down to coordinated strike action, it's going to be very difficult for the government to uh, brush it aside. No, good afternoon. I, I think so. There's not no real winners in all of this. The, the unions have obviously come in with this big kind of ask at the start, 17.6% for nurses. And to put that in a kind of, some kind of context with the data, around 46% of the whole NHS budget is spent kind of on wages. Now, if you were to give that to nurses, I'm sure the doctors, you know, the paramedics, all healthcare professionals would say, well, we want a bit of that as well. So the government's unlikely to cave in because it could cost about £10 billion. And, and just talking in your previous uh, kind of thing there, looking at the kind of the budget that's coming up this Thursday, where does the £10 billion come from? Well, it could come from either cutting public services even more or increased taxes. So I think the, the concern that we've got really is we are seeing record vacancies for nurses now. That's not helped, obviously, because of the pandemic, people kind of leaving as well. So the conditions is what a lot of nurses are saying they're concerned about. So these big asks that they're going for is because of the, the record vacancies, the workloads that they've got. But it's quite inevitable that if there is strikes this winter, we will see people die because of it. The, the systemic problems. Um, we had these reports that uh, because of the staffing problems, one nursing shift was being offered for two and a half thousand pounds for agency staff. Um, I mean, does that sound reasonable to you? Well, it's not reasonable. But if you think about it, all these agency staff, I know of, of stories where a nurse has left the NHS, joined an agency and gone back to pretty much the same job the next day on much more money. Now, these agencies, if the NHS turned around and said, we're not going to employ your staff, well, the people who work for these agencies got nowhere to go. This is difficulty, obviously, is we need to get safe hospitals and we need to get the staff on. But I think, you know, it's far cheaper to actually pay for the NHS staff to work for the NHS yeah. than pay for the agencies itself. Now, there, there is a little bit of a saving in the short term on things like pension contributions because you're not paying that, obviously, if they're not working specifically for the NHS. But I think the government really needs to crack down on the use of agency workers because it just adds more and more to the bill overall. And that's not good overall. And, you know, it's another Tuesday and every week we get data from the ONS, which looks at the number of deaths across the country. And the, the NHS is a big factor in why we're seeing higher than expected deaths across the country we saw last week record waiting lists continue to go up you know we've got over 400,000 people now who are waiting for more than a year on an NHS waiting list a strike from the NHS and the nurses will just add to that and I think we're going to get to a point this winter that will the NHS start losing kind of the kind of the, the, the public's kind of backing if they start going on strike it's a difficult one they have had these real term pay cuts the last decade yeah they're obviously trying to get some money in but you know, this is a very difficult position. And as I said at the start, there's definitely no winners in all of this. Jamie, thanks very much.